Hi, welcome back. Right, this is just a simple video and a step-by-step -step guide on how to install something like this. Um, it's a USB-C port, a uh, breakout board that's designed to replace the Nintendo 3DS. It comes in two pieces, a 3D printed piece um, which goes on top of the installed USB-C port. Um, it helps with the cosmetics and the aesthetics of it. The port itself is very good. Uh, I've had no issues with it post install, good anchor points and whatnot. Um, so let's just get into it. So now we're ready to install or desold at that point. Just check over if it's the right size and the right fit. Um, it should be. And set your iron to the correct temperature. I don't know what iron you're using, but three, anything above 300, it, it should be good, good enough to go. So I've fluxed all of the points and I apologize for my glasses. I'm still getting used to recording and working at the same time. So yeah, get some flux on there. Um, I've used leaded solder as well to lower the temperature, uh, the, the melting point of the already existing solder on there. Um, keep your iron on, on the point for a couple of seconds, depending on temperature that you've set your iron to and the characteristics of your solder type. Right, and once you've tinned them all up and they're all mixed with your solder type, you can use a wick to wick away and make your life that much more easier. Um, the, the solder that's anchoring down the legs of the port. Um, again, be patient um, and it will, it will come off. Say goodbye to proprietary charges. Okay, so eventually you'll get to a point where it will start to give and I'm using a J-tip so I'm kind of cheekily using the heat of the iron and kind of kind of shoveling it up as I'm, as I'm doing it and eventually it does give. Wow, there's glue on there. Glue. actually put glue on it right we got it off and now we're just going to inspect our work and the keen eyed amongst you will see that i've ripped pad number four off. oh no ripped the pad up yes <clears throat> i ripped the pad but it's not the end of the world we just need a little bit of solder to connect to that and, and just act as an anchor. That could be a data line, it just could be a ground, but it's not the end of the world. So clean up your work with uh, IPA 99%, get that flux off because flux is conductive, uh, over time that is, not straight away. I'm starting to anchor down one point. Get one point, align it all, get one point down so the rest doesn't move, then you can just start plodding on the rest of your solders, uh, solders on the solder point, and the reason why I've kind of I, you'll see me skipping because my head got in the way, and again I'm trying my best to show you guys without my head blocking the camera. Right, so it's all okay. Using high quality solder, all in. It's all installed, and it looks great. But there was a problem and I didn't know at the time that I had done. I mean, just let me know, do you see anything? I don't see anything. Um, at the time I didn't. But only until I kind of looked at it from the side on when I realized what I did wrong. When I tried to put that 3D printed piece, it's at a slant. So the 3D printed piece was not sitting on properly. So I had to go back in whilst heating up certain points. 
push down with my finger so it would kind of sit while whilst it's remelting the solder around it and once I was happy with that I fitted that 3d piece just to see what a test fit would be like and it felt better um, it sat across the top of the USB-C nice and straight now let's get into actually testing if this works or not Going in. Yes, she charges low. Ah. Oh, it's gone. Damn it. Oh, it's because there's no battery inside. There's no battery. Let's put a battery. Mm. There we go. USB C charger. I'm happy with that. Now, this piece. This fitting the case part was a little difficult. It just simply wouldn't fit and I was trying to figure out why so here's what we found we needed to modify the case otherwise it wouldn't fit so here I'm just clipping off these little ends and it, then it, I, I put it back on and it fitted a little bit better but it still wouldn't go down I struggled back and forth uh, it still wouldn't go something was blocking it so i did get frustrated so then i turned off the camera and was looking on ways how to do it when the camera was turned back on i had already done it in the next part i show you the finished fit and what i did to achieve and get what i got uh, which is really good i think check it out okay so i managed to do that <sighs> How did I do it? Well, it's hard to see. That's the other side. And I had to grind it using a grinding pen. On this setting, in here, it's basically a ground all of this out it was like that bit there so ground down 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 scooped it up brushed it away <laughs> and then i had to maybe i ground too much down on this maybe up to here would have been good but i went a bit more down but either way it fits and this piece is also sent by the seller and we put it in like that it's so hard to see right like that and then you plug these in as you do this one and that one oh sugar that then pretty well nothing breaks clip 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 now I was having trouble because this part wasn't clipping down because that connector that you saw that one two connector needs to be connected in otherwise it just doesn't allow this to clip in obvious it was obvious now but not at the time so look, that's what it looks like. Could do a better job next time with not so much grinding at the top, but for the first time, it's getting better. Let's lower the volume. Now, that's pretty much it. I think it looks good. The fit and finish with that 3D printed piece makes it look, you know, it is. it makes it look like you, you can't really tell. Um, that's pretty much it. Now we just reassemble the console. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on, test it. Um, with the charging cable in 
if all the lights come on, if the symbol comes on. Um, let's get to that. Battery is low. It's charging. Fantastic. And we got the logo right there. Right, I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, that's pretty much the end of the video. I uh, hope you learned something. Hope you were mildly entertained. And uh, stay tuned for more uh, videos like this and repair videos in the future. Okay, take care. Goodbye.